What is up everybody? FHM is back with Max Chater, craft beer specialist and master distiller. We have challenged ourselves to find the ultimate cider of 2015. We're about to taste test 16 in a World Cup format. All we're worried about is if we can imagine a pint of this in our hand, in a field, beautiful music playing, sun shining down on us. First two that came out of the hat, the Lancaster Marble and Bombers. Let's crack them open. Cheers. Gin, gin. Sun, sun on your back. I, I'm not feeling it as much as I okay. want to be. That definitely takes me back to festivals that I've drunk yeah, a lot of. That's that stuff. true. That's true. He's back in the game. Aspals, a beautiful Premier Crew cider. It's spelled with a Y because they're really fancy. Crofters, two litre bottle of drunk juice, I think is the nicest way to put it. I can't remember the last time I opened a two litre bottle of cider. Well, I can almost taste the cheap vodka that I would have put in this when I was a Very kid. nice. But I think we should knock out our crofters and take Mr. Posh Aspal through. Without a doubt. We've got Lazy Jacks versus Thatcher's. Lazy Jacks, it's American style. It looks a lot cloudier versus British favourite, the Thatcher's Gold. Mm, cloudy, but. I like cloudy. Cloudy's good. Oh wow, that's got a formidable scent. That's pretty sweet. Okay. I mean, actually sweet, not like sweet. Pretty good though. For me, that's what I'd want to drink at a festival. Yeah, right. I feel bad. Sorry, nation. <laughs> <laughs> Round four. Stella Artois Cidre. Cidre? Cidre. 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 Whatever French is for cider. <laughs> Up against the Hoxton Cider Smiths. Interesting cider, very orangey looking. It is, isn't, other, it? isn't it? First thing in the morning, we colour that. I like the matte black can. I do. It's yeah. cool, isn't it? It's a fizzy little bastard. This is like drinking like an iced tea or like a like iron brew. Look out for the, the dry, I've got a dry tongue after that, which is another good sign of a quality cider, I think. Hands down. Yeah. Nah. Round five, we've got the battle of the supermarket big boys, Strongbow. If you haven't drunk Strongbow, Come on, mate, you've drunk some both. Again, the Savannah Dry, all the way from South Africa. So we've got a pretty, pretty similar colour going on. 5% versus... Oh, it's 5 as well. Oh, okay. Christ, cool. they're so similar. Are these the same thing? More interesting, this one. Let's go, like, like citric acid or something. It's simulated sourness. That's, that's, that's not that, real. That is a far better cider, I think. Yeah, 101, that one. Six. This side is starting to take its toll on my brain a little bit. Can of Capel versus Froome Valley Herefordshire Henny's Dry Cider. 6%, so a little naughty. This is 5.2. I'm liking the can thing. Yeah, I, I do I'm like the it. the Hoxton got me on that. I think this is a little dark horse, this one. That's not making me, I'm not, I'm not reliving a big music interesting, moment. Interesting, interesting. Maybe, maybe like Newton Faulkner gig or something. I know. I'm hoping this is gonna be more Iggy Pop. Oh God, that's dry. Yeah. And there's like a... For me, it's the old dog. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. Think, it's, I think it's pulling through. Sorry guys, love the new packaging, but... Round seven, Record League's brand new dry apple cider versus uh, a nice little cider from two men called Bob. Chaplin and Cork's Somerset Reserve Cider. I imagine that's Bob Chaplin and Bob Cork. Bob Cork. 6.8, uh, it's big boy. Bloody hell, that's gonna get you there. Yeah. This one is a cool 5%, Swedish, Scandinavian. This is definitely rock top. This is easy drinking, uh, inoffensive, delicious. The, the, the start to this is just a little bit like I've just tripped over my tongue sort of thing. The Swedes have done it with their beautiful women and their goddamn delicious cider. Round eight and I am not driving home. Frank's all the way from Cornwall and yeah. Curious Apple. Is that sparkling water? Oh, it's light, isn't it? That is curious. Yeah? Oh, is it? More than that, I imagine. That's that is uncurious. Really? It's incurious. Black Cup's <laughs> made it, I think, for me. Okay. Quarterfinals time. And so between the Aspals Premier Crew yep. and the Lancaster Marble, we have gone for Aspals. America's Lazy Jacks versus the UK's Hoxton Cider. Hoxton for the win. Hoxton for a boom. Savannah. Savannah. Simple yeah, as that. Savannah Dry. I mean, that was it. Boom, this is out. And the last quarterfinal of our session with Recorder League's brand new dry apple cider versus Cornwall's flat cap Frank. For me, it was all about and I was, Frank's. And I was on the fence. I was, Frank's is going through. <laughs> 16. Down to eight. Eight down to four. There can only be one winner. Semi final number one, we've got Aspel's Super Posh Premier Crew versus our Canned Crusader Hoxton Cider. I'm Shotgun not. reminder. Okay, I know which one it is. All day long. It's Hoxton for me. Hoxton for me. Bye, Aspel. Well, oh, that's a shame. That was a hell of a cider. Semi final number two, Cornwall's Flat Cap Frank versus South Africa's Savannah Dry. He just looks like a friendly guy. 5%. He is. He's happy. Yeah. That's so tasty. There's like a cinnamoniness or something. There's like a spice. It's. Frank's made it through, isn't yeah, it's he? It. Frank's done. in. Done. And the grand final is upon us. The two best ciders of 2015. Best festival ciders. My head is definitely in a festival space now. We've made such a mess. Okay, right. I'm right. going to go with our Cannes Crusader. Always a pleasure. It's 
wonderful. That is really good. They're both so good. I don't even this know. Is, this, all right, bang insider in its own right. Awesome, yeah. love the can, but there's just something in this that makes it just that little bit. There is that taste in there. After three, let's say which one we think should win, all right? Okay. One, two, three, Frank. Thanks. Ah, oh, it's so close though, but yeah, it's the winner. I'm gonna get rid of this. So we've finally done it. I'm a little bit skew if hey. pretty fucking hammered. We have found FHN's ultimate Appley booze. Frank the Man by Flat Cat Beers. I'm taking that home. Boom. Mm-mm. Lad. <laughs>